looking at a variety of hydroponic systems and this is a great one for uh, your patio or your apartment um, the vertical hydroponic this is really interesting tell me more about it yeah I saw some information about it basically it's a design off the window farm so if you're in an apartment in the city didn't have any balcony space and still wanted to grow plants mm -hmm. uh, then you could just have this vertical kind of hydroponic system that you mentioned like all the other ones again we start with some kind of container reservoir with our water in it and a pump and in this case it's pumping the the water and the nutrients to the top we can see these emitters up here at the top of the systems and then basically the water is flowing through each of the systems returns back to the reservoir tanks and cycles through and you've tried this on a number of different sized containers from just the small water bottles to two liters and gallons has one proven better than the other well this one definitely looks a little bit better uh it just kind of depends on on the system it's it's a learning thing just like everything else uh again this is a kind of a smaller system here with the with the water bottles uh then we tried the the uh, uh the two liter bottles here as well but again you can get larger plants also you can see with the net pots in there they're a lot larger mm -hmm. uh, this system here we actually put perlite in here and again it's it seems to be doing quite well so on this, the plants are directly seeded or sewn into the substrate. You're not using the little um, net containers. Right, correct? yeah, we just we just put it directly in the perlite it, itself mm -hmm. and grow in these. And then also here behind me, we've got this uh, a bucket and it, uh, it's kind of a similar system as well. We also have the nutrients flowing up to it, draining through this bucket, like what we saw, what we uh, saw before with the Dutch bucket system and then it's returning to the reservoir and cycling back through. Now you have the plants um, coming out from the side of the bucket. What do you have in here to keep the substrate in? So again, you can use different substrates. The key for if you're doing this uh, hanging bucket design is gonna be the weight of this bucket. So you wanna use something light enough, mm -hmm. like perlite, uh, that it's not gonna be too heavy of a substrate. But then also you want something that is gonna hold some water because that is a problem that I hear is having to water these all the time. So you're trying to balance out uh, how much water it holds to also the weight of it. Well, this is a really unique system. And I mean, I see a full lunch here. So <laughs> obviously you can grow uh, quite a bit in a really small space indoors. Right, so it could be anything. I mean, you've got cilantro up here, so you can have herbs as well as uh, lettuce and then we also have tomatoes coming out here of, out the bottom all right well thank you this is great bruce i appreciate all your information thanks mm -hmm.